कृष्ण भक्त हनुमान की जय शिशि गौनताई की जय जगत गुरु शिल प्रभुपात की जय ओ नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओ नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओ नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय श्रीमद्भागवतम कैंटो टेन चैप्टर ट्वेंटी थ्री द ब्राह्मणाज वाइफ ब्लेस्ड टेक्स थर्टी गृणंती नोपतया पितर सुता वा ना भ्रात बंधु सुहृद कुत एव चान्य तस्मापदयो पतितात्मना नान्या भवेद गतिरिंद मतदे गृणंती नो न पतयो पितर सुता वा ना भ्रात बंधु सुहृद कुत एव चान्य तस्मात प्रपदयो पतितात्मना नान्या भवेद गतिरिंद मन तद्विदे गृणंती नो न पतय सुतर सुता वा ना भ्रात बंधु सुहृद कुत एव चान्य तस्मात प्रपदयो पतितात्मना नान्या भवेद गतिरिंद मतदे गृणंती नो न पतय पितर सुता वा ना भ्रात बंधु सुहृद कुत एव चान्य तस्मापदयो पतितात्मना नान्या भवेद गतिरिंद मतदे गृणंती नो न पतय पितर सुता वा ना भ्रात बंधु सुहृद कुत एव चान्य तस्मात प्रपदयो पतितात्मना नान्या भवेद गतिरिंद मतदे मतजी गृणंती नो न पतय पितर सुता वा 
ના ભ્રાતે બંધ સુહૃદ કુત એવ ચાન્ય તસ્માદ્રપદયો પતિતાત્મનામનો નાન્યા ભવેદ ગતિરિંદમ તદ્વિદેહી વટ ટુ વટ મીનિંગ્સ ગૃણંતી દે વિલ એક્સેપ્ટ ન અસ ન નોટ પતય આર હસબેન્ડ્સ પિતર ફાધર્સ સુતા સન્સ વા ઓર ન નોટ ભ્રાતેર બ્રધર્સ બંધુ આર રિલેટિવ્સ સુહૃદ એન્ડ ફ્રેન્ડ્સ કુત હાઉ દેન એવ ઇન્ડીડ ચ એન્ડ અન્ય અધર પીપલ તસ્માત દે ફોર ભવત યોર પ્રપદ્યો એટ ધ ટિપ્સ ઓફ ધ લોટસ ફીટ પતિત ફોલન આત્મના હુઝ બોડીઝ ન ફોર અસ ન નોટ અન્ય એની અદર ભવેત દેર કેન બી ગતિ ડેસ્ટિનેશન અરિંદમા ઉચ્ચ સ્ટાઇઝર ઓફ એનિમીઝ તત દેટ વિદેહી કાઇન્ડલી બેસ્ટ ટુ અપોન અસ translation our husbands fathers sons brothers other relatives and friends will no longer take us back and how could anyone else be willing to give us shelter therefore since we have thrown ourselves at your lotus feet and have no other destination please o chastiser of enemies grant our desire purport shila vishwanath chakravarti thakur comments as follows from their very youth the brahmanas wives had heard about lord krishna's beauty qualities and sweetness from the women folk of rindavan village and also from the flower ladies the betel nut sellers and others consequently they always felt ecstatic love for krishna and were indifferent to the household duties their husbands seeing them as deviant doubted them and avoided dealing with them as far as possible now the wives of the brahmanas were ready to formally reject their so called families and neighbors and out of great agitation they were crying and placing their heads upon lord krishna's lotus feet offering obeisances in this way with choking voice they spoke the above verse they begged that lord krishna bestow upon them the benediction that he be their only destination that he be the chastiser of enemies subdue all their enemies those difficulties obstructing them from attaining the lord the wives of the brahmanas simply wanted to serve lord krishna and this is pure krishna consciousness in ecstatic love of godhead om gyan timirandhasya gyanan jana shalakaya ચક્ષુરુન્મિલિતમ તસ્મૈ શ્રી ગુરુવે નમ શ્રી ચૈતન્ય મનોભીષ્ટ સ્થાપિત ભૂતલે સ્વયં રૂપ કદામ દાતિ સ્વપદાંતિક વંદેહમ શ્રી ગુરો શ્રીયુતાપદકમલમ શ્રી ગુરૂન વૈષ્ણવાંશ શ્રીરૂપમ સગ્રજાત સહ ગણ રઘુનાથ તમ તમ સજીવ સાદ્વૈત સાવધૂત પરિજન સહિત કૃષ્ણ ચૈતન્ય દેવ શ્રીરાધા કૃષ્ણ પાદાન સહ ગણરિતા શ્રી વિશાખાન્વિતાંશ નમા ઓમ વિષ્ણુપાદા કૃષ્ણ પ્રષ્ઠા ભૂતલે શ્રીમતે ભક્તિ વેદાંત સ્વામી નામિને નમસ્તે સારસ્વતી દેવે ગૌરવાણી પ્રચારિણે નિર્વિશેષ શૂન્યવાદી પાશ્ચાત્ય દેશતારિણે નમો મહાવદન્યાય કૃષ્ણ પ્રેમ પ્રદાયતે 
कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नामने गौरत्वशे नम हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाछकलपतुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवासादिगौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम रामा हरे हरे प्लीज रिपीट द ट्रांसलेशन आफ्टर मी आवर हजबेंड्स फादर्स sons brothers other relatives and friends will no longer take us back and how could anyone else be willing to give us shelter therefore since we have thrown ourselves at your lotus feet and have no other destination please o chastiser of enemies grant our desires hare krishna so first of all i would like to seek blessings from with from all the devotees sitting here so that i may try to share some understanding on this verse hare krishna the best quality of shrimad bhagavatam is that this is not a dead book this is a living book and as we go on reading shrimad bhagavatam lord krishna himself interacts with every devotee just like when a new fight reads shrimad bhagavatam or bhagavad gita it helps a person to rise from their animalistic tendencies to become a human being and as we go on reading shrimad bhagavatam uh, it helps us to develop vaishnava qualities the same purpose of shrimad bhagavatam when are read by pure devotees they relish shrimad bhagavatam the same purpose help are making the neophytes rise from the animalistic tendencies and the same purpose read by the pure devotees they are relishing the pastimes of krishna so every purpose of shrimad bhagavatam every shloka of shrimad bhagavatam interacts with the devotee based on their consciousness so this is a living book so in today's class uh, we will focus mainly on one of the qualities out of many qualities of the uh, wives of the brahmanas we'll take one quality that is rendering unreserved devotional service to the supreme lord first and then we will talk about what are the possible reasons why we are not able to render unreserved devotional service we'll talk about what are the effects we face because of this and then we will try to discuss some possible solutions around it and then at the end we i will tell one magical verse from shrimad bhagavatam which talks about the consequences of rendering unreserved devotional service unto the supreme lord so let's start so as we said that here from this verse we can see that there is a very important quality of the wives of brahmanas is that they are rendering unreserved devotional service to the supreme lord you can see that they have put everything on stake they are saying that our husbands fathers sons brothers other relatives will no longer take us back they have put everything on stake to serve the supreme lord this is a very heavy situation when somebody puts everything on stake and then they are tell that okay just do whatever you were doing earlier they left everything and this is the situation as uh, his grace devkinandan pro discussed on sunday that uh, according to the vedic system uh, the women after marriage they leave the house only after passing away and these women in the full consciousness 
in bright day time they have left their house they have left their families everyone to come to krishna and now lord krishna is telling them kindly go back to your husbands and continue with your duties and we see that they accepted without any doubt without any problems without any reservations they accepted whatever lord krishna said so this is a wonderful quality of these devotees and because they were not having any reservations they have practically lost everything they have lost everything they have lost their name fame prestige everything to serve the supreme lord and now they are in the stage of becoming a kanchan they are left with nothing and that is why because they are left with nothing they are able to pray to the supreme lord please give me your shelter please don't send me back please give me your shelter they could develop that mood of saying that my dear lord without you i have nobody else in life they could develop that mood in our case we see that we have a lot of reservations sometimes we keep a lot of reservations and a lot of consciousness in invested in securing the reservations and because of these reservations we are not able to sincerely pray to the supreme lord just like uh, it is said by kunti marhani she says that janmaishwarya shruta shri bhi sedamana madah puman neva harati abhidhatum vai twam kinchana gocharan so here in the purport shila prabhupada is saying that consequently such materially puffed up persons are incapable of uttering the holy names of lord by addressing him feelingly o govinda o krishna it is said in the shastras that by once uttering the holy name of the lord the sinner gets rid of a quantity of sins that he is unable to commit such is the power of uttering the names of the lord there is not the least exaggeration in this statement actually the lord's holy name has such powerful potency now here listen carefully but there is a quality to such utterance also it depends on the quality of feeling a helpless man can feelingly utter the holy names of the lord whereas a man who utters the holy uh, the same holy name in the great material satisfaction cannot be so sincere so because they have lost everything now they are uttering the names of lord they are praying to the supreme lord that you are the only one who can give us shelter please don't send us back so now we will discuss about the effects of keeping so many reservations we have so many reservations with us we uh, to give us which give us a sense of security what happens when we keep so much of reservations the first effect is that as we discuss now we are not able to take the shelter of the supreme lord we say, we sing the bhajan hari hari bifale janam gavainu a very beautiful paragraph comes in it what is that ha ha prabhu nand sutta vrishbhanu sutta juta karuna kar hoe bar narottam das kahe na theli ha ranga pae tum bina ke ache amar tum bina ke ache amar so we may sing this but we may may not be able to feel it we sing guru puja ha ha prabhu karo daya deho more pad chhaya we may because when this line comes we may be jumping a lot because there is the loud mridanga and kartal playing at that time 
बट आर वी गेटिंग दैट फीलिंग दैट हा हा प्रभु करो दया देहो मोरे पद छाया गिव मी दिस शेल्टर ऑफ योर लोटस फीट आई नीड दैट आई नीड द शेल्टर ऑफ योर लोटस फीट आर वी एबल टू फील दैट इट ऑल डिपेंड्स अपॉन द कॉन्शियसनेस बिकॉज वी हैव सो मच ऑफ रिजर्वेशन इन आर हार्ट एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दोज रिजर्वेशन वी डोंट वी मे नॉट फील टू टेक द शेल्टर ऑफ द लॉर्ड to she take the shelter of shila prabhupad actually right from the heart another effect of uh, keeping a lot of reservations is that we get a lot of fear and anxiety in our heart we get a lot of fear and anxiety in our heart i uh, give you a simple example let just like when we come to shrimad bhagavatam class so we think that the class should get over by 9 am so that we can immediately run to take prasad and the prasad should not get finish we may want the class to get over fast so, uh, because we are feeling sleepy we want to take rest and we are feeling very hungry so we want that the class should get over so we see that sometimes when we do classes and uh, immediately when the class is about to get over so many people just rush out of the class because they have to run and secure their place in the queue for prasad in vrindavan hall why because they are fearful of the prasad khatam na ho jaye and because of this reservation they are not able to hear properly in the class obviously out of uh, the man the management has to put a time that the class should get over at this time because this is an institution and we have to we are running an organization and everything has to go systematically but as as the sadhakas if we are waiting for the class to get over early because we are feeling very hungry or we are feeling very sleepy and that is not a very good consciousness so we should not keep this kind of reservations that what will happen if i will not get prasad the prasad is there what will happen if you don't if you don't get that much prasad as we would have got by reaching 10 minutes earlier nothing will change but keeping this reservation in our heart what is happening we are not able to hear the bhagavatam for which we have left everything we left our homes we left our families relatives we left our material comforts and for what to hear shrimad bhagavatam and when we are here to sit to he- hear shrimad bhagavatam we are keeping a reservation kahin prasad khatam na ho jaye and this is affecting our devotional service then these uh, by keeping such reservations it will not allow us to serve properly it will not allow us to serve properly a very uh, simple example i can give here for example a pujari uh, a pujari is uh, going to offer bhoga to the supreme lord and while offering the bhoga to the supreme lord he takes the plate from the kitchen to the altar and he sees oh what all items are being offered to the lord he says that okay okay there is some paneer in it there is some sweet in it and there is this is this is in it and then he thinks that after offering i will take this item and then he offers it and then uh, when he is taking the plate back to the transfer room he may be thinking that i should get this item so he will tell that please ensure that you keep this this item for me then while doing the aarti he may think that my prasadam plate would have been there or not or it has been taken by someone hmm? when we when we are in the festivals when we are offering many many items to the supreme lord then we may put the more delicious item at one side at one corner that after offering we may keep this particular bowl with us now by keeping such reservation we are obstructing our ability to serve the lord properly 
we have example of Shripad Madhvendra Puri who with just one thought of tasting the kheer he felt so guilty and here uh, we are planning that what all items we will keep now the Mahaprasad is becoming an item that after offering I will eat, take this item from Mahaprasad Mahaprasad has become an item because we are keeping so much of reservations and supposedly if we were, we were serving the Supreme Lord without any reservation Supreme Lord this is oh Krishna this Mahaprasad this Bhoga is for you see what kind of change we will feel immediately there will be a change in the consciousness because serving the Lord it's all about consciousness we cannot offer big big things to the Lord what we can offer he is being served by so many goddess of fortunes what we can do with, with this uh, nakli ghee what we can do with, uh, with our not so hygienic practices of cooking what we can cook for the supreme lord where he is being offered so many things by the goddess of fortunes but by investing our consciousness in the right way we will be able to serve the Supreme Lord keeping no reservations in heart and then another effect of uh, keeping reservations is that these reservations will make us conditional servers will make us conditional servants of the Supreme Lord for example Mm, this example was given by Go His Grace Gokuleshwar Pro long time back in his class and I really got inspired from this example. He said that uh, there is a no, there's normal sister and brother. Mm. The sister has gone out and brother is in the home watching TV and the sister's son was sitting and suddenly something happens and the, sis the son uh, got sick and he collapsed and the brother is comfortably watching TV now when the sister will come what will happen she will become very angry hmm. she will say that Aaj ke baad mera tumse koi nahi hai. she will break all the relations with the brother hmm. although the brother is not God he is not the controller he cannot do anything but Phil, but still the, the sister will feel very angry hmm? but in this war of Kurukshetra we can see that the brother is God the supreme personality of Godhead and in front of the supreme personality of Godhead Manu gets killed with injustice in a wrong practice he got killed and Subhadra did not say a word Subhadra did not say a word. Hmm? Draupadi's five sons got murdered by Ashwatthama. Hmm? When they were sleeping, she did not say a word to Krishna. Hmm? She accepted. Whatever Krishna is doing, she accepted. Did not say a word. This is the quality of rendering unreserved devotional service to the Supreme Lord here we see the, uh, the wives of the Brahmanas they have left everything to serve the Supreme Lord and he is telling them to go back they did not start chastising the Lord dhoke baaz, daga baaz tumhare liye mein sab chhod ke aai aur tumne mere ko jane ke liye keh diya no, they accepted this is the quality of rendering unreserved devotional service to the Supreme Lord. Hmm? Draupadi and Subhadra, they, are, they saw that this same Krishna returned back the sons of Devaki when they were killed by Kansa. They saw that how he returned back the son of Sandipni Muni. And I am the sister of Krishna, huh? the, practically the only sister, and my son and Sargo got killed, he did not do anything. Hmm? 
in Ramayan, uh, when the entire uh, fight was completed, by the glance of Lord Ram, all the monkeys uh, who died, they woke up. So Krishna has that power. And here, seeing that my own brother is not doing anything, they did not say a word. So this kind of attitude we, we, we should inspire us. That whatever you do, my Lord, I will accept that. Please give me strength to follow that. So, we sh uh, so these reservations are going to make us the conditional servants. So we discussed that this, these reservations will not help us to take the shelter of the Lord from the heart. Sincerely, it will not let us take the shelter of the Lord. Then, because of these reservations, there will be a lot of fear and anxiety in our heart. And because of this, we will not be able to serve the Lord. Then we saw that because of these reservations, we will not be able to serve the Lord properly. Hmm? And then we saw that how it will make us conditional servants. That if this, this, this condition will fulfill, I will be able to serve. If this, this, this condition will not be fulfilled, I will not be able to serve, serve the Lord. Now, let us try to discuss about some possible solutions. Some possible solutions. If we can adopt them, then we will be able to serve the Lord properly. At least better than what we have been doing till now. Something little better than that. So the first possible solution is that our purpose should be clear. Our purpose of serving the Lord should be clear. I have a very simple example. Sometimes when we, when we are standing here in Aarti's Mangala Aarti or Sandhya Aarti, we may not feel like dancing. Yes, we may be standing here, but we may not feel like dancing. Why? Man nahi kar raha, dance karne ka. So our dancing is depending upon our man, our mind, our feelings. It is not dependent on that my Lord, my Swami, he is getting worshipped and I have to dance for his pleasure. I have to dance for his pleasure. He's get, his aarti is happening. I have to dance for him. I give very simple example. Have you seen bar dancers? Don't see them. Just take this example of bar dancers. Uh, bar dancers, they dance in front of whom? Intoxicated people. Lusty people. Hmm? Every night. Hmm? They're, they're dancing. And most of them are not very handsome and beautiful also. Prabhupada says that in most of the bars, many old people are going, 70 years old, 80 years old, people are going. And in front of them, these bar dancers, they are dancing. Why? Because their purpose is clear that they'll get money. They are dancing because their purpose is clear that they will get money. And because, of, because they will get money, they are able to dance. And it does not depend upon their feeling. They may not be even feeling to stand in front of this old fellow. But they are still, but they are still dancing. Why? Because their purpose is clear. And here, we have the Supreme Lord Gaur Nitai, who is standing with all, his, with all his mercy and we are not feeling like to dance. That means our purpose is not clear. Hmm? We are not clear that this is the Supreme Lord who is standing in front of us. It does not depend upon what I am feeling. It depends upon who is standing, for whom I am doing. Hmm? Srila Prabhupada, went to continent to continent, country to country, city to city, village to village, chanting 
हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम राम हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 रामा हरे रामा राम रामा हरे हरे शिला प्रौपाद वेंट फ्रॉम कंट्री टू कंट्री कॉन्टिनेंट टू कॉन्टिनेंट in and city to city village to village chanting this maha mantra and this gornetai went behind him dancing and spreading his mercy to every town and village and we are not feeling like to dance in front of him ha huh? we are not feeling like to dance in front of him why because man nahi kar raha so our purpose should be clear it does not depend upon how i feel It depends upon whom I'm serving. So our purpose should be clear. So how will this purpose will get cleared? How will this purpose will get cleared? We'll read from Bhagavad Gita, chapter ten, verse number seven. सो द श्लोक सेज एता विभूति योग युवेती तत्वत स्वविकल्पेन योगेन युज्यते नात्र संशय प्रौपाद एक्सप्लेन्स इन द पर्पट दैट हि सेज दैट जनरली पीपल नो दैट गॉड इज ग्रेट बट दे डू नॉट नो इन डिटेल हाउ गॉड इज ग्रेट we know god is great but in detail we do not know how god is great here are the details if one factually know if fact if one knows factually how god is great then naturally he becomes a surrendered soul and engages himself in the devotional service of the lord when one factually knows the opulence of the supreme lord there is no alternative but to surrender to him so if we are convinced about the glories of the lord then there will be no alternative left with us except for surrendering to him this factual knowledge can be known from the descriptions in shrimad bhagavatam and bhagavad gita and similar literatures so that is why we have to take shelter of shrimad bhagavatam and Sh- bhagavad gita once one question was asked to his holiness gopal krishna goswami maharaj that you are not feeling enthusiastic in serving so maharaj said that if you if you know whom you are serving if you know that the person you are serving is actually the supreme personality of godhead then you will feel enthusiastic that is why we have to constantly hear about the supreme lord this is what uh, the uh, the wives of brahmanas did it is mentioned here that shila vishuna chakravarti thakur says that from the youth uh, the brahmanas wives had heard about lord krishna krishna's beauty quality sweetness from the women folk of of vrindavan village so they have heard about lord krishna what rukmini did she heard about lord krishna and because of hearing and hearing this asakti for lord is developing and because of this all the petty things which keep us reserved which do not allow us to serve with full capacity they will go away gradually this is not a one day thing this is not a one day thing 
this will not happen immediately this is a culture that we have to develop and over the time as we go in this culture things will change so our purpose should be clear and how the purpose will get clear our purpose will get clear when we hear constantly about the lord when we continuously hear about the glories of the lord automatically the conviction will develop that i have to serve the supreme lord another thing which can help us to serve without any reservation is this is a very beautiful word given in shrimad bhagavatam ashulk dasika surat nath te ashulk dasika ashulk dasika very beautiful word a servant which gets no pay a servant which gets no pay now let us try to understand what kind of payments we are trying to ex we are expecting from the supreme lord for our services that we are doing we may expect him to pay us in the form of name fame some lakshmi somebody saying hari bol hari bol somebody saying oh this devotee has done so much of service getting the tag of a senior devotee everybody trying to bow down when we walk so this is this the kind of shulk that we want for the devotional service we have we are rendering to the lord all these name fame glories all these are temporary their effects are temporary and they will not stay the happiness that we will get with this kind of shulk is also temporary so the so the gopias are saying that my dear lord we are ashulk dasika we are your servants who, ha who are not getting any kind of payments we are we are we are spiritual the supreme lord is spiritual the service is spiritual and no damn material shulk can be given for our service only shulk that we can get for our services hari toshanam the satisfaction of the supreme lord if he is satisfied we have achieved the perfection if he is not satisfied shrame vai kevalam shrame vai kev so what is the shulk we are we want for our service we should constantly think what kind of shulk we want what is the result what kind of rewards that we want is it satisfaction of the supreme lord or not and then a very uh, nice example like uh, come to my mind when i think that what is the result of rendering unreserved devotional service very peculiar example mosquito <laughs> you see mosquitoes they are very small insects huh? little in comparison to the mosquitoes we are thousand times big hmm? they have huh? they are very slow if you just hit them they will die but their purpose is clear i have to suck blood of this person so by putting everything on stake these mosquito will come and they will come to suck your blood ha huh? at any moment they will be killed but you see for this uh, you see that what kind of revolution these mosquitoes have created hmm? these every human being thousand big big human being thousand thousand times bigger than the mosquitoes they are all feared of mosquitoes they have to make so much of arrangements to keep these mosquitoes away hmm? so much of arrangement is required because 
these mosquitoes they have just one aim i have to suck the blood without any reservation putting their life on stake they have to suck the blood of this person and they come and if supposedly if we have such kind of mentality that without any reservation i have to serve him what kind of revolution it can create hmm? what kind of revolution it can create because we can serve the lord only on the power given by the supreme lord so if we are serving by the power given by the supreme lord who can stop us nobody in this world can stop us if we just become determined to serve without any reservations no damn person can stop us this is the power of serving without any reservations and so what will be the result if we serve without any reservations shrimad bhagavatam first canto chapter 3 verse number 38 This is Canto Ten. So you can all recite with me. We'll recite it in chorus. Is it there on board? Hmm. We'll recite together. सवेद धातु पदवी पर दुरंतवीर से रथांगे यो मयया सततयानुवृत्त भजे तत्दसरोज गंधम वॉट इज सेड हि ओनली दोज हु रेंडर अनरिजर्व अन इंटरप्टेड favorable service unto the lotus feet of lord krishna who carries the wheel of chariot in his hand can know the creator of the universe in his full glory power and transcendence this is the result of rendering unreserved devotional service fruitive activities and speculation are no qualification of entering the abode of supreme lord shila prabhupada writes in the last line so simply by rendering unreserved devotional service let us try to serve the lord by keeping our inferiorities our fears away and supreme lord is going to help us to serve him he says that one who tries to serve him he gives him intelligence to come to him so this is the duty of krishna he is his promise given by krishna that he is going to help us let us try to keep our all reservations away and see the result hare krishna any questions comments feedbacks जगत गुरु शिल प्रभुपात की जय ग्रंथराज श्रीमद भागवतम की जय हरे कृष्णा